YouTube, it's Gina. So today is week six of my weigh-in. Six weeks ago, I started on this weight loss journey. My starting weight at the time was 169. Um, a month before that, I was weighing in at 177.5. And that's just crazy. Six weeks in on the program, I am now officially down 14.8 pounds. This week from last week, I lost 0.4 pounds, which isn't that much, but I am incredibly happy. So I'm here um, to get officially weighed in and do a full body composition analysis. So I'm really excited. Uh, my first time figuring out if the legitimate stats of uh, how much fat I have, how much muscle mass I have. I'm really excited. I'm doing this with my sister and her coworkers. So wish me luck. <laughs> It's just really weird. The other day, I stepped on the scale and it actually said I gained weight. And so what I did to cope with it, I just kind of looked at it and then I just laughed about it and I just kicked it out of the way. So I was just like, whatever, <laughs> this thing's crazy. If any of you are on this health journey and you guys stop losing weight, don't feel discouraged. Um, we're human, we're not made like robots. And I've been telling my girls the same thing, like, we're human. We're not made perfectly. And as much as losing weight is a science, sometimes it's not. You just can't predict what's going to happen. Uh, the most you can do is just stick to plan. So if the number doesn't show, don't beat yourself over it and don't say, oh, forget it. I'm just, I'm just giving up. Don't do it. Just keep going. And I promise you, if you're doing, if you're sticking to whatever plan you're doing and you're doing things right, you're going to lose weight. On the number, it's more than just losing weight, it's about learning discipline and it's about really achieving what you've never achieved before. And so, one of those things for me is like just sticking to plan for six weeks or just sticking to anything for six weeks. I have a tendency to kind of give up uh, anything after like a month, so this week is another hoorah for me. Like, I am just kind of all over the place, I'm happy, I don't really care. Um, but I do want to say really quick congratulations to my sister. She has lost 20.8 pounds since she started on this program. And the crazy thing is her new metabolic age is 26. So my sister and I have a 10 year gap and she is now officially younger than me in body age. So for me today, I went in to get my metabolic age and it's crazy. <laughs> Because first of all, yes, they told me again that I'm obese. Secondly, they said I'm 42 years old. 42! What the heck? I'm excited because that age is just going to keep going lower and I just can't wait to actually get there. Uh, I'm going to keep this video short. I do have a couple clips to show you girls. I made dinner with my sister. So I'm at my sister's house and we are getting ready to make some dinner. Uh, on the menu, sister? We have roasted broccoli, asparagus, mushrooms, and zucchini. Oh, yummy. And we are going to make some shrimp. Heck yes. So my sister's going to show us how to make and roast some easy breezy vegetables with some olive oil, garlic, and a little bit of lemon juice. So what do we have here? Okay, we have an assortment of vegetables. Yummy! Um, so we're gonna start off by just loading up the broccoli. Everything's been washed and um, they're all ready to go. Oven to 350, okay. You could do a 350, 375. Um, depending on how long it takes for you to cook your meat or your protein. Broccoli on one side. Yay. Then we're gonna take some bell peppers and line them up. Take some asparagus, line these babies up. Ooh, that's a lot and of veggies. And some squash. BBOO, and just kinda go over it like this. Kirkland coarse brown black pepper. I just put that on top. Sprinkle that right on top. Some salt. And just kind of go over everything. Garlic. I'm gonna sprinkle it. Load 
load it up. <laughs> like to sprinkle everything. Mm. Um, another ingredient we need is lemon. I'm gonna bust out some Parmigiano Reggiano. This is also Ooh. Kirkland brand, and this is gonna also go on top, so. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by adding some olive oil. Just gonna spread that out. Okay, so nice, nice and hot, I'm adding my shrimp. You hear that sizzle? That's a good, good sound. This is where I'm gonna start adding some seasoning and my garlic and adding my garlic all of it that was like a good six cloves and I'm adding my garlic now so it doesn't burn and over cook in the pan I'm gonna add some salt some black pepper some paprika Old Bay seasoning. We're just gonna nicely let that go. I'm just letting all the shrimp cook. Uh, as soon as you start to see majority of it cooked, you just want to make sure you don't overcook your shrimp. And since it's almost done, I'm just gonna squeeze in my last bit of lemon right now before it's completely done cooking. So, just a half of a lemon. <laughs> How is it? Mmm, delicious. We're gonna go ahead and take um, the vegetables out. So we're gonna go ahead now and start off with um, putting some lemon rind on it. So lemon these rind. were already pre, um, I don't know, what do you call it? Lemon zest. Zested. <laughs> we, we're adding some lemon zest to the broccoli. Um, lemon on top what? too. And Wait, some lemon me. juice. Yum. They got me so hurt. We're going to take some of this uh, Parmigiano Reggiano and just sprinkle it right on top. Oh my God. Okay, so to plate, I'm just gonna take two zucchini. Two asparagus. One, one bell pepper. And a few broccoli. I'm gonna take some mushrooms that we sauteed in the shrimp sauce. Put that right in the middle. And then just add the shrimp. Add the juice from the shrimp all over everything. So there's our finished meal. It's so delicious. Who needs carbs? We got carbs right here. <laughs> so if you're wondering how much five ounces of steak is, this is what it looks like Korean style. Um, let me take it out on the plate. And that's what it looks like. I also went out with my friends. We went bowling and uh, I'll show you a couple clips of that too. <laughs> So this is the termination and this is how far I've gotten. I'm ordering all this food for my friends, but I'm not having any of it, but I feel still pretty good um, just to give them the mood, but all gravy. Is what? it delicious? Super. Is it awesomeness? This is awesome. <laughs> mm, uh. <laughs> 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 Birthday. Am I talking or is this video? Photo or video? Video. Hey, thank you for coming to my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Anytime. So what's the purpose We're in this? Um, is this is a sexy yeah. cow. The, the best feature. Like, <laughs> 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 hey, 
So last thing before I leave, I just want to remind you girls that I'm having my first ever meetup and I decided on April 7th, like I said in my last video, and the location is going to be at the Irvine Spectrum. So if you're in LA, Orange County, or San Diego, um, come out and say hi to me. I'll be at the Starbucks um, in the patio area around 1 o'clock. If any of you are interested in doing Take Shape for Life and also interested in having me as a health coach, um, contact me and message me. I am having a lean and green brunch before the actual meetup at the Irvine Spectrum. It's going to be me and a couple of my girls that are already on program and then a couple of you who are interested. And really what we're just going to do is do some Q&A so that you can learn how the program works and decide if you want to try it out. Also, you'll be able to ask a couple of the girls that are already on plan if um, how it's working for them. And uh, yeah, so anyway, I'm really excited. I am nervous because I'm kind of just getting into all of this at the last minute. Um, I'm having my meetup two weeks before my wedding. Uh, but stay tuned because I am going to do a wedding vlog right now and yeah until next week i will talk to you girls later bye mm, cupcakes mm, evil <laughs> let me just just take here take that look 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 right there eat yeah. that <laughs> So, I'm at my sister's work, and we are about to, we're on the second floor, and we're going up how many flights? Up to the ninth floor. <laughs> we're going to go up to the ninth floor to get a workout, so... <laughs> This is what go. we're dealing with, and here we go. So, um, my sister's been doing this what every day. Yeah. And uh, how do you feel? Um, I die when I get to the seventh, oh. and I can't breathe anymore, and my legs start aching. <laughs> so we are now at three. We are at three. Not bad. Not bad so far. Yes. They I said I'm. 42 years old. So you're, you're technically, I'm technically more healthy. younger than you. <laughs> My sister is 10 years older than me, and yet she, her metabolic age is 26. That's where I'm supposed to be. So, believe it or not, I'm gonna get there. How are you feeling right now? Um, I feel the burn. How many times did you do this? I'm supposed to do it twice a day. We're on level six. Typically we go at 10 a.m. and at 2 p.m. But uh, I can't do two a day. I die. <laughs> oh my gosh. Come on, sister. Push. None of us like, uh, do this every day. Uh -huh. so. <laughs> Push. We can do it. Mommy, you really need to start working out. High five. High five. High five. Downhill. It was awesome. We did it. We did it. We did it.